Hi everybody, it's Patty, Rockstar Mom, and welcome back to my channel. Well, as you can see, a couple of things are different. I'm at my daughter's house and filming in her dining room, actually. And if you hear some background noise, she has workers here working on the outside of her house, and they are very loud. So I apologize right off the bat for that. So let me tell you what's going on today. Uh, Donna from Donna's Mature Life contacted me a while ago and asked me if I would like to be a part of a collaboration, a new tag that she had written. And I told her absolutely yes. So there are five of us, including Donna, who uh, will start this tag off. And let me tell you who they are because you're gonna want to go over and see their video on this just in case you haven't done that already. First of all, Sharon Capehart, and we love Sharon. You know if it's Sharon, it's gonna be such high energy and exciting because Sharon is one of a kind. The next person is Mary Ellen from Mary Ellen After 60. And of course, we love Mary Ellen. And then Kathy A, Kathy A Fisher. And oh my gosh, what can we say about Kathy A? Okay, so the name of the tag is the Makeup Tag for Mature Women. And I have the questions here. I'll list them below in the description box. And then I'm going to tag just a little handful of people that I think uh, would be fun doing this. but. Here's the deal, each one of you, if you are a content creator here on YouTube, you do this tag also, if you think it's fun too. So let's start with the first question. How old were you when you first started wearing makeup? I have no idea. When I was about five or six years old, my aunt was a widow, my uncle was killed in Africa in World War II, and I would spend the night at her house. And at the time, she sold Avon. And she had this great big black bag. And the, the I guess it was her kit or whatever. But the whole side of it, there was a flap that opened up. And on the side of that bag were all of these tubes of those little bitty lipsticks that Avon did. And I can remember sitting on the floor with that bag taking each one of those little lipsticks and taking the top off of it and looking at the color and putting it back. And when I would get ready to go home, she would always let me pick out a color to take home with me. So maybe that's when I first started wearing makeup. Number two, do you recall the first makeup product that you picked out for yourself and purchased or that was purchased for you? Other than that, no, I don't. Number three, eyeliner, definitely eyeliner pencil. Um, as a matter of fact, my daughter is in the other room recuperating from her surgery. Jennifer, can you hear me? Yep. Do you remember what I used to tell you about blue eyeliner? No. Oh, Jennifer. I always told her that when I died, if she didn't make sure I had blue eyeliner on, I was gonna come back and haunt her. Uh -huh. She's laughing. I don't know if you can hear her. Uh, number four, do you ever go out in public without makeup and why or why not? Rarely, but sometimes I do. If I do, I try to wear great big, the biggest sunglasses I can and at least try to have my hair pulled back in a ponytail or something. Uh, I had a, a friend years ago who always said that you need to dress out for every game because you never know when you're going to be called on to play. Number five, if you could have only one shade of lipstick, what would it be and why? And it says I can swatch it if, if I want to. Well, um, something with color, something bright. I cannot wear nude colors or pale colors. Uh, I just need more color on my face with my hair. Makeup or skincare and why? Do you think your answer would have been different in your 20s? Definitely makeup, and no, it would not have been different. Uh, makeup because with makeup you can cover a lot of skin issues. Number seven, what makeup trend did you do when you were younger that you absolutely would not do now and why? And it says I can start a picture if I wish. Well, uh, in my 20s, I was flying for Delta, and back then we were stewardesses, and it was before uh, 
It was while the airlines could still discriminate. So here's the deal with Delta. Our hair had to be its natural color. I had already started bleaching my hair by the time I started flying. I had to do my hair back to that mousy brown. It had to be short. It had to be above your shoulders, but just below your ears. It had to be. Um, we were not allowed to wear eyeliner. I don't know why. Our nails had to be a color, a dark color, either red or burgundy, something like that, because they felt like they did not want the passenger, the passengers to see food under our nails. And a funny little story about that. One Friday night, I was going to the airport to catch a flight, and I knew no one would be in the stewardess lounge, so I wore eyeliner, and I got there, and the chief stewardess was there, and she sent me home. Number eight, what is the number one makeup tip you would give to mature women as they, as a general rule to help them look younger. It's not anything about makeup or skincare. I would say just to be happy, to feed your soul. And also the number one skincare tip you would help, you would give them to help them look younger. I would say just basic, just the basic skincare. Number nine, which celebrity wore your favorite beauty look when you were in your 20s? And which celebrity makeup look do you now admire? Well, I would say in my 20s and probably 30s, it would be Donna Mills. I used to have people tell me that I look like Donna Mills all the time. And most of my pictures from then are in storage. So I'm going to insert a picture now of Donna Mills. And this is exactly what I look like. For now, I would say Jane Vonda because I just think she's pretty classy. Uh, she did have a facelift uh, or some surgery in the past couple of years, and I saw her on a talk show where she did talk about it, and she talked about the fact that she told her doctor she still wanted to keep some of the lines around her eyes and on her face uh, because she felt like that was who she was. So I do respect that. Number 10, if you were stranded on Gilligan's Island and could only have three makeup products, what would they be and why? Number one, eyeliner. Number two, some foundation. And number three, lipstick, because you can do a lot with the tube of lipstick. And the part B to that question is what three skincare items would you choose? Cleanser, my new favorite rose hips oil, and argan oil. And those were the 10. Oh, so that's it. Those are the 10. So let me tell you who I am going to tag. And again, I'm going to tag these girls. Uh, but if you are a content creator and you would like to do this tag, we would love to hear what you have to say. Uh, I'm uh, tagging, first of all, someone that I've only been subscribed to for a couple of months, but I dearly love her. Uh, it's Michelle KS Girl 1969. The second person is Kay Carter from Our Daily Dose of Encouragement. Number three is Susan from Little Poet. And number four is Sani, Miss Mia 27. And I know a lot of you probably know Sani. Uh, today is Saturday, and yesterday was when uh, the bombings in Paris happened. I had already planned on tagging Sani. Sani is a makeup artist in Paris, and I did message her uh, last night to make sure she and her family were all okay, and I've heard back from her, and they are. Sandy took the summer off because she was so busy from making videos, and I think she's had two back uh, since she started back, so I'm tagging Sandy if she has time to do it. So thank you so much, Donna, for asking me to participate in this. I appreciate you. I appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.